hi guys welcome back this is Marie and I am over at my press table with our pattern for the next quilt block that we're going to be working on this is the fourth quilt block for the dear Jane scrap quilt series that I've made and it is basically Courtney's stethoscope that's what the block is called in the dear Jane book and it's a paper piece pattern. At least that's what I've made mine. I'm pretty sure you could do it as a piece pattern. I just felt that I'd get better lines and better measurements if I turned it into paper piecing. I have made two blocks of this so far and I haven't been completely happy with all of the blocks. Um, I'll show those at the end so you guys can kind of see why I wasn't exactly happy with them, if I can remember. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just, I thought okay let's do this paper piecing <clears throat> see if that will help me keep my lines right so with this one I created it in quilt assistant it's a free program you can get out for your computer that can kind of help you with your blocks and when you go to the print button after you've, lit, you've done your block together there's an option to make it into paper piecing so that's what this this came from is I just based went to the print and selected paper piecing and it created my paper piece pattern for me so it's pretty easy to use it makes things kind of nice I'll put a link down below so you guys can find quilt assistant if you want to try to use it and see if it will help you create your blocks as well I'm gonna go over to my cut table and I'm gonna get a little bit of my fabrics pre-cut I'm not gonna do like a super neat cut on any fabric I don't I don't need a super neat cut I just need them so that they'll fit over the top of the whole piece so they have to actually go over to where the little dotted lines are at because that's basically where your seam allowance is at so you want to make sure that you've got overage on all of those pieces of paper so I'm gonna go get that done and then I'll bring you over to the sewing machine and I will show you how to put this all together all right so we are over at my sewing machine and I've got all of my paper pieces cut out I hope you guys can see that um, I basically rough cutted them they're not perfectly cut into shapes they're just I just basically cut them into smaller pieces in order to be able to use them and that way I can lay them out and get them where I need to go now typically with paper piecing you would start with the A block and you would move your way out from there I'm not gonna do that I'll do my A block and my B block last they're one of the outside pieces so I'm gonna do those last they need the smallest amount of fabric and so I don't want to do those first. I'm actually going to do this one first. It's one of the most complicated out of all the pieces I have to do. This one's the most complicated. So I'm going to do this one first. That way it's out of the way and I get the hard part done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me my fabrics that I've got over to the side here. And I just roughly cut what I needed off of, off of these fabrics. And so I don't have like a whole a whole bunch now this one is saying this one goes first so when you do paper piecing what I found the easiest thing to do is to fold the fat the paper where I need to sew and then that way when I go to lay it down on the other side I know that I'm at the right spot so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna fold all of my sew lines so that when I turn it over I know where I'm placing my fabric and I'll, I might draw the sew line on the back for you guys just so you can see what I'm talking about because you probably aren't gonna be able to see that that fold okay guys so I have got that already put on there I've drawn the line so that you guys be able to see them on your end um, and I'm going to start laying these fabrics into place of where I need them on my pattern. So the first of those together on the line, I'll put that together. So I've got a quarter of an inch. There we go. So all I did was I just adjusted where my fabric sits so that I could try and save some of it. That's all I did and so I can get right on that line, make it easier. I'm all about making things a little bit easier. Now I'm going kind of slow 
I actually want to adjust my stitch width. I didn't do that. So um, I'm just making it a little bit smaller so it perforates the paper a little bit more and makes it, when I tear it off, makes it a little easier. So there's the first one stitched down. Now I'm going to rotate. I'm going to pull it off to the side because I don't want to go through all of the fabric I just tried to save. And I cut it off the machine, pull out my pen, cut that off. So what we do now is we just open this up, making sure we finger press really well so we don't have any creases in there. And as long as that white fabric is over where it needs to be on the back here, I've done a good job. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take the white fabric and this green fabric and I'm going to just roughly trim it away and we've got our first piece in place. Now we're on to the next piece which is another piece of white fabric and I'm going to make sure I find one that is going to fit the, the triangle piece that's on the back. And I'm going to lay it against there. I'm going to lay it against the, the next sew line. I'm going to flip it over. And now I'm going to sew on this line. Okay, so now I can't see my sew line for my next piece. What I'm doing is I'm just ripping back the seam allowance on here, just tearing through the paper, being careful I don't tear out my stitches to get to the point where I'm at my seam allowance. So that's where the seam allowance starts. I'm going to actually trim this a little bit. There we go. And this fabric needs to sit a quarter of an inch. So if I have it just sit right where the fabric starts, I will have a good seam allowance on the other side. Now I'm going to actually go from this direction. So there is that one. And we just press our seams really well. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this back. Okay. Put that back down. Alright, so now we need to do the last piece, which is this house looking piece. And we are going to get a fabric selected for that one. And I'm going to go with this fabric right here. I'm going to look for where it needs to be laid or about where it needs to be laid. Okay, so I've got it laid out. I don't need this piece right here as wide as it is. It's definitely too wide on the seam allowance, doing just a rough cut there. So there's that, then we flip it over, we lay it down, and we sew on the line. So you make sure you have enough fabric to cover all of your paper on the back, and you sew where the lines are at. That's except for on the outside line, the outside lines. You sew on that one later, you don't sew it on this this time. The outside one will be where you sew when you connect all the pieces together. But we first have to press everything and we have to cut all the shapes to exact sizes before we do that last line. So I'm gonna just keep working on all of these pieces. I'm gonna get them all sewn together. And then once I get that done, I will bring you back and we will go over to the cut table together and I'll show you how to trim these down. We are over at my cut table and I have got all of my pieces laid out here. With these two pieces right here, they didn't have anything sewing them together because they're just two pieces. So what I did is I just used some glue stick, just some cheap brand glue stick to hold it down into place so that I could get it cut to the right shape. Um, I'm going to turn these over to the back here and I'm going to trim down on the dotted lines. So I'm going to get that done. And then we just go back to the sewing table and then we get to sew these all together. So I'm going to keep trimming here and then we'll go back to get them sewn. 
Oh, and I didn't mention, I did press these. I gave them a quick press before I brought them over to the cut table just so all my pieces are lying flat. They are all nicely shaped and I don't have any weird little bends or tucks in the fabric so I could get them cut accurately. So yeah, I did press them. Okay, so I've got these all cut. Um, I'm just trimming off the last little corner here. And I know it seems weird that I would cut off just that little that little bit because why does that little bit matter? Those are like my my pieces where it is an alignment point. So it's, it helps me align the fabric when I go to sew it all together. So all this is my little scrappy bits. I will go through that, get rid of what I can't use, and then I will keep what I can. So we'll take you over to the sewing machine and then we will go and get all of these pieces sewn together and into the block. And then we'll press it and we'll be done. So let's go over to the sewing machine. Okay, so we made it back to my sewing machine and we are gonna be sewing these pieces together. So I've got some scrap fabrics that are still just hanging out at my machine. No, I need to clean up. We'll get to that. All right, so I'm gonna start and figure out my layout really quick and make sure that I have my pieces laid out in the order that they need to go in because it has to be done in an order so that everything gets laid properly. So this is the layout. So I need to sew these in place and I'm going to start sewing them. So we'll start with the center bit because I think that'll be the easiest for me to start with. We're just gonna get our pieces in place. Bring it over to the machine and start sewing on the solid line. that's left. Now this is going to take a little bit of time because we do want to remove the paper. We want to remove this paper on the seams so that we can fold it. So we're just going to pull that off and we reduce our seam or our stitches in order to make this job a little bit easier. This part's a little bit tedious. All right guys, so that turned out a lot better than before. It's more even, it's more aligned. I'm happier with that, so I'm gonna leave it the way it is this time. And we finally get to move on to the next piece, which is these guys. So these guys go next, so we just lay those down and then we sew. Okay, last block and then this one is going to have some points that have to match so you got to be a little bit aware of those points and where they're sitting. And I'm going to pin mine. Now I don't like pinning if you have seen my previous videos, I've expressed this. I don't really care for it. I know there's a function. <laughs> I know it's 
<laughs> it's there for a reason, but I don't personally care for pinning. I tend to always poke myself. I hate poking myself. It sucks. But I'm going to pin to keep my points intact and then I will remove the pins as I go so I don't end up going through a pin. turned out good okay guys so I gave mine a press because I wanted to make sure that I had it flat before I added the last sides on it now with these it has alignment points so you're gonna want to match up your alignments and then we'll sew these last little pieces on and we are almost finished with this block the last part and press again and my press table is just behind my sewing table so I just roll over to it <laughs> makes it kind of nice and now we are on to the last two pieces guys the last two that's it two more pieces and this block is complete and finished and we can say we completed block four I'm bringing it over to my pressing table and we're gonna open this up I'm gonna show you the finished block and we are done so let's go over to the press table all right, so we are just gonna press this block into place. We need to remove the paper in the back. But it's finished, and I am super happy with the way that one turned out this time. So there it is, you guys. It is complete, it's finished. We don't have crazy lines. Everything looks pretty. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. My center very this very center lines off just a tiny bit and I could dissect this block a little bit more and tell you all the things that aren't perfect about it but you know what I'm, I'm happy with the way this has turned out and and I hope that you keep watching the Dear Jane quilt series and you keep keep enjoying it with me um, if you're new to the channel please subscribe I'll be completing this quilt throughout probably the next year year and a half so it's gonna be quite a long series um, but I hope that you enjoy watching me create this quilt and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. <laughs>